Hi, my clients are business owners and through my coaching conversations with them, we discuss a lot about one topic, strategy. You see, they reach a point where they need to find clarity. They need to make sure that they are on the right path. Strategy is a broad topic. And we could spend ages talking about it. But an efficient business strategy is comprised of five key elements. And I would like to tell you about those. Imagine you want to take your car and go for a ride. What is the first question that pops into your mind? I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me where do I want to go? This is a great question. Of course it is important to know where you want to go. However, and this is where you can make the biggest mistake, it should not be the first question. The first question should be, why do you take your car? Is it because you need to do grocery shopping because the fridge is empty? Or is it because you want to go and visit your friends? Or is it simply because you just want to go for a ride and show off into you in, in your brand new car? Depending on the why, the objectives will change. And this is what you should apply into your business. Most of the time we start with setting up objectives and then we try to somehow find a way to reach them. Instead of asking ourselves one simple question, why do I want to do the things I want to do? I've talked about it a lot in my blogs. I even did a video on it before. But it is so essential. Start with your why. Why did I start my company? The answer is your DNA. It will never change. It will help you make decisions in the future. Element number two. What sort of a driver are you? Do you always put your seatbelt on? Do you follow the rules 100%? Do you like to be told what to do when you drive? Every driver has a personality and this is the same with your company. Who is your business? What personality does it have? This is where you need to define your values, what you stand for. What are your uncompromising principles? Element number three. It is now time to set up the objectives. Where do I want to go? You want to make sure that these objectives are realistic. It is absolutely unnecessary to set up the long list of objectives while you absolutely know you will not reach them. Keep them short. Make sure they are aligned with your why. Make sure they are aligned with your company's values. Element number four. You know where you want to go. It is now time to decide how you're going to get there. The execution. This is where you need to think in terms of planning. Start by the end of the year and then go backward. So let's say by the end of the year, you want to reach goal number one, which is, I don't know, let's say I want to do 20% more revenue. How does it look like for the rest of the year? What does it mean for quarter four? What does it mean for quarter three, quarter two, quarter one? Where do you need to be? 
how many leads do you have to make? How many con contracts do you have to sign? This is a great way of working, working on your planning. Always start by the end goal and then work the schedule backward. And last element, an element that is often neglected. It's define your measurements. How do you know that you have reached your destination if you do not put KPIs along the way, indicators to track your progress? When we drive a car, it's easy. We put the GPS on and the GPS will tell us where we are and whether or not we have reached our destination. It's the same with the business. You need to have your GPS in place to make sure that you are going to succeed. And if you see that you are not on track, then maybe you want to adjust your goals along the way. So, in summary, the five elements of a strategy. Start with your why. Define the personality of the company, your values, who are you. Set up the objectives and only then it comes as in number three. Define the execution. How will you get to the objectives? And determine key performance indicators to track the progress. I hope you find this video useful. If you wish to talk further about your company's strategy, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can reach me through my website, email or on WhatsApp. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.